Next on Wood Songs, we're celebrating the music of Appalachia with the students of the Kentucky Center for Traditional Music at Moorhead State University. My gal likes to cause a stir, she likes to dance and swish her skirt. My oh my, that girl can flirt at the dance of old Kentucky. Clear the hallway, sweep the floor, find you a partner, couple on board, the dance of old Kentucky. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by the Martin Guitar Company, making handcrafted guitars since 1833, online at martinguitar.com. The Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau, providing information to visit Lexington, Kentucky, online at visitlex.com. By Folkbook, a social media site for arts and music online at folk-book.com and by Time Warner Cable providing cable, telephone, and internet service. Here on the Louisiana Hayride, his name is Hank Williams. From the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass Boys. <laughs> Hi, this is Bruce Horns. Hi, this is Kevin Moe. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hugger, Michael Jonathan. And welcome to the historic Lyric Theater. Here we are in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky. We're at the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music, the gateway city, the magnificent Appalachian Mountains, and that is what we're celebrating on this broadcast, the beautiful music of Appalachia, the mountain region in America where so much art and music has just spilled over and gone world, worldwide, and artists do come from everywhere to be on our show. You don't have to be famous to be on Wood Songs. You just have to be very, very good. And what we're, 
what we have here is, is front porch music. It's the, it's the rural sounds that created uh, music in America. It became bluegrass music. It became so many things. And we're celebrating that old-time mountain spirit with the best of the best. They've got a new CD called Kentucky Mountain Music. They're going to introduce themselves with a tune called The Dance in Old Kentucky. Please welcome them. They're the students from Moorhead State University on the Woods songs, old time radio. I'm driving fast and running late. I'm all worked up. I've got a date. My pretty girl don't want to wait. There's a dance in old Kentucky. Clear the hallway, sweep the floor, find your partner, cup of four, and dance in old Kentucky. Cause a stir, she likes to dance and swish her skirt. My oh my, that girl can flirt at the dance in old Kentucky. Clear the hallway, sweep the floor, find your partner, couple of boards, the dance in old Kentucky. Kiss your partner and thank the band at the dance at Old Kentucky. Clear the hallway, sweep the floor, find your partner, couple up for it, the dance at Old Kentucky. Old folks at Patrick Lee, young folks hollering, woo me! My honey, close to me in the dance in old Kentucky. Some rowdy boys are coming in. It's Michael, Jonathan, and all of them. You just wait and they'll begin to stir up some excitement. What's all that stuff they're bringing in? Hey, someone's got a mandolin. I love the way they pick and grin at the dance in old Kentucky. Clear the hallway, sweep the floor. Find your partner, couple up for at the dance in old Kentucky. Feet are tired, but her hearts are light. We won't get home before daylight from the dance in old Kentucky. Clear the hallway, sweep the floor, find you a partner, couple up for it, the dance in old Kentucky. The students of Moorhead State University, they've got an album out called Kentucky Mountain Music. And let's say hi to the director of the program, Mr. Raymond McLean, founding member of the McLean Family Band. Well, hello, Michael. Raymond, welcome back. You're like, you're, you're, you are family. You're, you've been here so many times now. <laughs> well, it feels like family. It feels like a front porch, Michael. We're getting there, aren't we? So now let's, let's talk about the, the program. Moorhead State University, nestled in the, in the, uh, the hills and hollers of, of eastern Kentucky, the right Appalachian Mountains. Right, the heart Mountains. of the Appalachian Mountains in eastern Kentucky. Right, absolutely. and you're a Kentucky boy. McLean absolutely. Family Band, probably the premier bluegrass family band in the state. And you were lured to come back home. You were teaching bluegrass music in Tennessee at the time. Right. And then the, and then the president of, uh, of Moorhead State University, who we're going to talk to here shortly, Mr. Andrews, lured you to come back home and start what, has be, what is actually, in North America, the only accredited bachelor's degree in old-time traditional <laughs> music, which well, is I at Moorhead State University. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, Michael, it certainly is good to be home in Kentucky. <laughs> of course, the Kentucky Center for Traditional Music was started in the year 2000 at Moorhead State. And uh, they had, actually, I understand, the first minor in traditional music, uh, the music of our southern mountain region, anywhere. And uh, I was 
very fortunate to have the opportunity to come back home uh, in uh, 2010. And I've been here for, uh, for a number of years now and really enjoyed being part of this uh, Kentucky Center for Traditional Music at Moorhead State University. Well, I know you've really accelerated the program since, since you're there. And, and students are coming from all over America to be in the school. So you're not drawing just from the mountains. You're, I mean, the, the banjo player, Michelle, on this last song, I mean, she's from Massachusetts. So, I mean, That's it's like, right. She could have gone to Berkeley. She came to Moorhead instead. No, absolutely. We're, we're blessed to have some wonderful students from our region, some amazingly talented students from, you know, right from Eastern Kentucky, and amazingly talented students from all over, from Massachusetts, as you say, from Nova Scotia. Uh, we've had students from Brazil, from many places. Well, your teachers aren't bad either, and we're going to get to a, a teacher right now. His name is Jesse Wells, and he uh, teaches fiddle. <laughs> And let's, let's listen to the song, and then, then we're going to talk about exactly what is this mountain traditional music that we're talking about. But he's going to do a tune called Boatin' Up Sandy. Sandy's the name of a river in East Kentucky. It's Jesse Wells on the fiddle on the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs> Jesse Wells, probably one of the finest fiddlers in Appalachia, and an instructor at the Moorhead State University uh, traditional music program. Jesse, welcome to the uh, broadcast. How, how, long have you been, how long have you been playing the fiddle? I mean, I, I started playing the fiddle while I was a student at Moorhead State University. Really? So. But I've been around fiddle music since I was a really small child. So. Now, is, was this something that was in your family? I mean, you're, you're from oh, the yeah. mountain area, right? Absolutely. You're from that area. so I grew up about an hour south of Moorhead. I was born in Moorhead, and um, my father's family lived there. She taught at Moorhead State as an English professor, and um, they grew up in Moorhead and West Liberty kind of. Right, so you're, you're an East Kentucky boy uh, through and through. And a fiddle part of the uh, uh, family tradition, your neighbors, and so kind of a front porch thing. Oh, yeah. My dad took me to gatherings in McGoffin County and all around the kind of the state park circuit in the 1980s. He had a band called the Bottom of the Barrel Bunch who played <laughs> string band music from the 20s and 30s. They were influenced by the Appalachian I, I, music. Young, hot-blooded, 14, 15-year-old boy. I mean, he's not going <laughs> to sit around and go, I, don't, I can really impress the girls if I play the fiddle. You know, so. <laughs> no, I was drawn to the electric guitar at that age, yeah. so <clears throat> I got sidetracked. But I started playing the mandolin when I was about five years old. So. Mm -hmm. Now, you're an instructor at uh, Moorhead State University now, and you, you, you were part of the traditional music program at the Kentucky Center, right? And these kids come from all over the country. What, what is drawing them there? I mean, what, what is, uh, explain to the listening audience, what are they learning there that is, say, different from the Berkeley School of Music in Boston? 
Well, in the hills of East Kentucky, you're, you're in a place where this music was born. Um, much of the fiddle and banjo traditions come directly from Moorhead and the surrounding, uh, our service region of Moorhead State University. So you're within an hour or two drive of many musicians who are still living today, like Lewis Lamb and uh, many, uh, Roger Cooper. I could name many people that are still passing on these traditions uh, really close to Moorhead. Mm -hmm. so. Well, it's a, it's a growing program. It must be very exciting for you to see because they're they're building a theater there and stuff. Where where these students from all over the country they're they're learning uh, old time banjo and fiddle and mandolin, but not just the instrument. They're learning the the legacy and history of these things. Absolutely. And and, and it's a it's a different spirit, don't you agree? When you're playing old time mountain music, it's a different musical spirit than say playing. Uh, you know, uh, uh, bluegrass, straight sure. bluegrass or something like that. Absolutely, yeah. And, and a lot of this is a big influence on modern bluegrass music today. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of the fiddle and banjo and ballad traditions. Well, in a lot of ways, this is the music that became bluegrass. When, uh, yes. Right? Well, speaking of, speaking of which, um, uh, uh, Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs had a, had a tune that became really, really popular that you guys are going to be performing. Woody Guthrie took this song and turned it into something brand new and stuff. And this is the students of the Kentucky Center of Traditional Music at Moorhead State University. They're going to do a tune called Lonesome Road Blues on the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. I'm going down this road feeling bad. I'm going down this road feeling bad. I'm going down this road feeling bad, Lord, Lord. I ain't gonna be treated this way. Oh, they feed me on cornbread beans. Oh, they feed me on cornbread beans. 
That's the students from the Kentucky Center of Traditional Music. And let's get Raymond to come back up to the uh, to the uh, microphone. I mean, these students are just they're just really just very passionate about this old time music, aren't they? Well, yes, um, we all are actually. You know, uh, Jesse was talking about being interested in the electric guitar and in the fiddle. Uh, Linda Jean Stokely, that was just singing with Bo Lambert, uh, was an electric bass player when she started. Uh, uh, singing with the uh, group here. And you got them all to unplug. That's absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Well, so. sometimes we plug in, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I want to hear, uh, you have a, a, a wonderful mandolin player. Her name is Lauren Price. I'm going to ask her to come come forward a little bit. And what what I want to do is, you know, Jesse played the... Uh, the uh, the uh, the oh, fiddle and and got to uh, you got to really hear you know that that f that that in the holler front porch sound mandolin is a big part of the the mountain music and and you're gonna play what song are you gonna play for us um, I can play the Kentucky mandolin you can play the well what, how 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 appropriate that would be right now <laughs> now how <laughs> how uh, you just turned 20 years old so I mean how long have you been playing mandolin uh, I've been playing probably about 11 years 10 or 11 years but really took it seriously the last five or six. So. Yeah, so has, has a young, young girl, you're from Ohio, right? Southern yes. Ohio? And so, so you've been, you, you know, you heard about the uh, traditional music program at uh, Moorhead State University. What was it about being in a school that could teach you all that? What was so attractive about it? Well, it, it was interesting. Um, my sister Leanna and I are twins, and we went to a school last, uh, we're sophomores this year, and last year we started out at a school and we were undecided majors um, in West Virginia and we just weren't sure what we wanted to study. And we uh, happened to go to the Kentucky Center for Traditional Music uh, to rehearse with Tyler Mullins, a banjo player, to play a show. And it seemed like as soon as we set foot in the building, we just fell in love with it. It just, everyone had good energy to start out with. It was just so positive and everyone was welcoming and the music was great <laughs> and we love traditional bluegrass. So. And it's nice to be in the community of others that have the same feeling as you, right? That's, that's part of the, the, the reason to become, you know, close to something like that. Now, it was mandolin something in your family, like a grandfather or somebody played? or did you just pick this up on your own? Well, our daddy uh, plays the guitar and um, our grandma plays piano and uh, both of our parents sing. So I've always grown up around music, but no one to my knowledge has played mandolin before. Right, so it's kind of nice. You have a twin sister and she's a fiddler. So I guess, uh, yeah. I guess you guys sit on the couch in your living room. You don't necessarily turn on the TV, you play. Yeah. Or you play while you're watching TV. I'm not yeah. sure how that would work. <laughs> I think we've done both. <laughs> you've done both. So you've got, you've got your uh, beautiful mandolin, and you're going to play us a, a, a tune. One, one, what, I'm going to let you do it just by yourself. Okay. Okay, let's, let's hear you play. Go ahead. Just got our mandolin. into a song that everybody's going to do together. They're from uh, Moorhead State University, the Kentucky Center of Traditional Music, a wonderful program where you get a bachelor's degree in old-timey sounds. This is a tune called Blue, Kentucky Girl on the Wood Songs, old-time radio. <laughs> Remember when those neon lights 
shining down That big old moon shines on your Kentucky Students of the Kentucky Center of Traditional Music at Moorhead State University, Linda Stokely, beautiful vocal guitar by Raymond McLean. In the second half hour, you're going to hear a song made famous by Frank Sinatra and Tony Bennett, done in old-timey music way. We're going to meet the president, the banjo-picking president of Moorhead State University, and wait till you hear this week's Wood Songs Kids. We'll be back right after this. This is Jean Ritchie, and you're exploring the world of grassroots music with folk singer Michael Jonathan of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And there's the princess, the queen of Appalachian old time music, Jean Ritchie. Welcome everybody to our stage here at the Historic Lyric Theater. We're in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky, broadcasting to your hometown. And uh, one of the things that we like to do about this time every single week is feature some young kids, and we wanted to feature kids that were sort of really um, exploring this world of old time music uh, while uh, surrounded by uh, Britney Spears and everything else. And so we found a couple. They're from Martin, Kentucky. Let's say hi to Megan and Emily Bryant. Now, uh, uh, Megan, how old are you? I'm 14. You're 14 years old. And Emily, how old are you? 11. 11. And you're playing the banjo. And, and Emily, you've even won contests playing the banjo, haven't you? Yeah, and, and they're making the same with you. You've won contests playing the fiddle. So your teacher at Moorhead State University is Jesse Wells. He's got his guitar, and Ruth McLean Smith has got her upright bass, and they're going to back you up. So what we have is our Wood Songs kids this week, 14-year-old Megan, 11-year-old Emily Bryant, and the tune Martha Campbell on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. <laughs>
And now we get to say hi to the president of Moorhead State University, Mr. Wayne Andrews. Thank you, Michael. How are you? Good. You are a banjo-making, clock-making president of a very important uh, university in North America. Almost 70,000 people have gotten degrees from your school. Right, yes indeed. And you're a partner with NASA, <laughs> right. all the way in East Kentucky. So, so this is a, this is a, 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 a uh, an interesting thing that you've developed by taking this this academic powerhouse, but turning to old time uh, mountain Appalachian music in a very very committed way. Absolutely. One of the wonderful things about Moorhead State University is that we get to represent the culture and the heritage of our people. And that's what this traditional music is all about. As you've said many times, it's what happens on the front porch in the, in the church choir, in the church parking lot, the country fair, where people express themselves about the things going on in their lives through music. It's a powerful medium, and we want to pass that on for future generations. Now, you have a genuine interest in this. I, I mean, I wasn't kidding. You're a banjo playing, banjo making, president of the university. Well, so you, you had a, a very heartfelt desire to make this work. Yeah, it's an interesting history there. My, my daughter Jill is a professional musician. Who's been on this show. She's before. been on this show <laughs> twice and uh, she lives in Nashville. She's a professional singer-songwriter. She was taking uh, lessons at uh, Raymond McLe from Raymond McLean in a, a previous place, which I won't mention. But she was, she was learning how to play the banjo, and then she abandoned that for the guitar, and she left the banjo at the house, and I picked it up, and I thought, you know, I'd like to play this. So I said to Raymond, would you teach an old fellow the banjo? And he said, bring it down. That's where it started. Ah, so, okay. So you, you, uh, you cornered Raymond to start giving you lessons, then you drew him from the uh, place that we will remain unnamed to right. come to Moorhead. Right. And, uh, and he became the uh, director of the uh, Kentucky Center for Traditional Music. In 2010, we had a vacancy. I picked up the phone. If I talked to Jesse first, I said, Jesse, I got an idea. He said, what's your idea? I said, I'm calling Raymond McLean and tell him it's time for the native son to come home. <laughs> I did that, and Raymond said, I think I'm coming home. I think we're glad he's back. We're delighted. Now, we, most people in America have heard this song because of the motion picture, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou?, which right. celebrated old-time American folk music as the soundtrack. Matter of fact, it became one of the biggest uh, movie soundtracks of all time, and we're going to get uh, Mr. Andrews to sing the lead of this particular song. Uh, you know the tune. It's called Keep on the Sunny Side. It's Wayne Andrews and the students of Kentucky Center of Traditional Music at Moorhead State University, right here on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. dark and troubled side of life there's a bright and a sunny side too though you meet with the darkness and strife the sunny side you also may view keep on the sunny side always on the sunny side keep on the sunny side of life it will help us every day it will brighten all the way if you keep on the sunny side of life Storm and its fury broke today, crushing hope that we cherish so deep. Storms and clouds will in time pass away. The sun again will shine bright and clear. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day. Let us greet with a 
song of hope each day Though the moment be cloudy or fair Let us trust in our Savior always Who keepeth everyone in his care Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side Keep on the sunny side of life It will help us every day, it will brighten all the way If you keep on the sunny side of life It's the president of Moorhead State University in East Kentucky, Wayne Andrews, and the students of the Kentucky Center of Traditional Music. We are celebrating the music of the mountains in Appalachia, and we are about to throw you a major, major curveball. We want uh, Thomas and Tyler to come uh, forward. We've got a guitar and a banjo, and they're going to play a duet for you that uh, was made famous by, of all people, Frank Sinatra and Tony Bennett. But they're going to do it front porch style, which is going to sort of show us that uh, this, this, this music, this old time music, uh, can be new as well. So this is a tune that you know it. It's called Fly Me to the Moon on the Wood Songs, old time radio. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. and adore In other words please be true In other words I love you special. So Raymond McLean, the director of the Kentucky Center of Traditional Music, you're not, Im you're not imprisoning these kids into a defined 
barnyard of what old time music is supposed to be. You're, you're letting them explore and... You know, I think traditional music has always been like that. I think we've always included all the music that we loved hearing from around, uh, from every source. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, when Thomas and Tyler graduated with the uh, Bachelor of Arts degree in traditional music last spring, they had a, a good understanding, good background in mm -hmm. traditional bluegrass music and country music, but they also had a, a good feeling for uh, for everything around them. Well, we're going to get into a song next, which is, I think, is is a, a a great step to the other side of the spectrum. This is this is a tune that you're about to perform that uh, uh, Bill Monroe never really recorded. I guess this is something that folks can find deep buried in the archives of the uh, <laughs> Moorhead State University, uh, the music room. But this is a tune that is a, is a Bill Monroe tune. He never recorded it. It's called The One I Love Is Gone on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio Hour. Price on the lead vocals there, the students of the Kentucky Center of Traditional Music. Raymond, a, a Bill Monroe tune. It's really got the uh, the seeds of my last days on earth in that song. Yes, and and uh, uh, I love the way that they've kept the 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 tension that's created with uh, playing in the minor key and sometimes singing a major third. Yeah. That Bill did sometimes, you know. 
Well, this is the music of the early days of the Grand Ole Opry. It's yeah. the early days of the Renfro Valley Barn Dance. It's, it's, the, it's the early days of what became uh, country music. It's the roots. Music. It's the real thing. Yeah. And so this is what uh, interested people will find at the Kentucky Center of Traditional Music is this adventurous spirit into old-time music. Well, we're very glad to have the opportunity to come spread the word about this program here on Wood Songs. And, you know, I hope that when our uh, men and women in service all over the world hear this, it might feel like home to them. And when our uh, people all over traveling for any reason might hear this music, it might remind them of home. I, I hope it, uh, it, it reminds folks at home that are living in apartments in Chicago and L.A. There and everywhere go. else. Absolutely. Because this is home. This is early American rural front porch music. And we're going to go out with a bang here. We got all the students of the Kentucky Center of Traditional Music. It's at Moorhead State University. It's the only bachelor's degree program in old time mountain music that you could find anywhere. And this is a tune called Troublesome Creek on the Woods Songs, old time radio. <laughs> Wasn't it great having the kids from the Kentucky Center of Traditional Music, Moorhead State University in Eastern Kentucky? 
Raymond McLean of the McLean Family Band, director. And Mr. Wayne Andrews, president of the college, of the university. And what do you think of our Woodsongs kids, Megan and Emily Bryant? Weren't they just wonderful? You know, it goes without saying that, uh, that uh, this music is very powerful and passionate. The impression might be that it's old-timey and stuff. And I, it, one thing that uh, it, I, I always try to remind myself, back in the day, back in the early 30s and 40s, when Bill Monroe was creating this, this sound that he was ser searching for that became uh, bluegrass music, he was playing old-time mountain music. But in a lot of ways, he was the nine-inch nails of his day. He was the Nirvana and the Green Day of his day because he changed it. And, 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 and he became sort of a pioneer, the father of this bluegrass music. So really, to play old-time music in the spirit of someone like Bill Monroe, is to do what the students of Moorhead State University are doing. Explore it, enjoy it, change it, progress it, make it beautiful and wonderful, make the front porch flourish and, and become a wonderful place to be. I think John F. Kennedy said it best. He said, if art is to nourish the roots of our culture, society must set the artist free to follow his vision wherever it takes him. Bill Monroe did it. You can do it. The students at Moorhead State University are doing it right now. Music and art is a wonderful thing, and that front porch of yours is the greatest stage on earth. My name is Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I'm a log cabin dweller, and we'll see you next week on The Woods Song. been listening to Wood Songs broadcast number 781. Michael's opening song was the Michael B. Rag from the Homestead album featuring Isaac May on Madeline, Raymond McLean on guitar, and Ruth McLean Smith on vocals and upright bass. Our chief engineer. Thank you for tuning in. There are so many talented artists that appear on our stage. It's very hard sometimes to pick the ones that appear on our TV broadcast. So what we're going to do is leave you with a performance from our huge online archive of past shows. We'll see you next time on the Wood Songs Old Time radio hour. She's going to do a great song called Win Your Love. Let's welcome her back. It's Emmy Lou Harris and the Red Dirt Boys on the Woods song. <laughs> Closed captioning provided by the Deering Banjo Company. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by the Martin Guitar Company, making handcrafted guitars since 1833. Online at martinguitar.com. The Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau, providing information to visit Lexington, Kentucky, online at visitlex.com by Folkbook, a social media site for arts and music, online at folk-book.com. And by Time Warner Cable, providing cable, telephone, and internet service.